All right, just got back from Freightliner. We got a new part today, the oil return line. Comes straight off the new turbo, as y'all can see. Little piece right there. Boom, it's gonna sit in just like that. Ran right into the truck. Brand new part. As y'all know, I had an oil leak. And it was, it was my only oil leak on the truck. It was small though, but this is the gasket, the black gasket. All right, so back in the hotel room for the night, as so y'all can see, just check in. Checking in the hotel room is uh, not part of the job. It's just something I decided to do. Uh, sometimes I sleep in the hotel, sometimes I sleep in the truck. Just depends on how I feel. But anyway, it's September 24th, 2020, as y'all can see. We had uh, bought a brand new turbo, and we had also bought the uh, brand new oil return line. Because like I told you, in a previous video that I had this oil leak since before the rebuild and apparently I did buy the part to fix it but I'm thinking what happened is um, some kind of way I took the old return line to the mechanic and he put the old one on instead of that brand new one that y'all seen in the video so uh, we're going to get it replaced. The part is, I don't know, I got to check the price on the part, but it's something cheapest, maybe like $50 or so. But, um, yeah, we just got to replace that part. Like I said, it was already leaking. It's just, it grew over time, okay? At first, when I first bought the part, it was a tiny little oil leak. And uh, obviously now here we are, I don't know what, uh, five, six months later, it just grew over time, so... Nothing, nothing serious, nothing major. Um, I understand a lot of y'all think that I'm at some dealership waiting in line and all that good stuff, and that's awesome. That's very awesome, but uh, the truck is not going to the dealership. I'm not waiting in line in no dealership. My truck ain't ever going to the dealership. The only thing I go to the dealership for is parts. That's it. That's all I've ever been to the dealership for. Uh, it makes no sense for me to go to a dealership and pay or ridiculous prices and being you know get held hostage and that type of stuff but a lot of y'all for whatever reason could not tell that uh, I was just joking about the truck being broke down and it's like y'all just I'm reading the comments and I'm kind of hmm, I'm starting to think that uh, some of you guys should just stay company drivers it's just buying leasing I wouldn't recommend none of it for you I would just recommend just staying company your entire career is, some of y'all is just, it's not, you're not going to learn. It's just not for you. And it's okay. It's nothing wrong with being a company driver. There's plenty of company drivers making a hundred K. Okay. Making more than us as on operators. You got fuel haulers home every day, $2,000 a week. You got, uh, the union guys to do LTL for, I don't know, FedEx, UPS, them guys. You don't have to be own operator. You don't have to own a truck. You don't have to do any of that. Just be a company driver. It's okay. It's okay. The reason why I'm telling you this is because if this was your truck and you had this tiny ass oil leak from this tiny ass part, good God, I just, oh man, I just, you guys would not be able to survive. Somebody was talking about, uh, ain't it some type of DOT issue? Don't I gotta, Worry about DLT. All right, man, I ain't seen DLT since 2016. 2016 when they pulled me over and gave me a law book ticket, okay? Very long time ago, ain't it? We're in 2021. I don't hang out with DLT. I'm not at the scale house. I don't know what they got going on at the scale house. I, I don't know. I just don't know. Even with has, man, I wasn't hanging out at the scale house in my $15,000 flat top doing these voluntary inspections, and they never saw me. At no scale house. They don't need to. If they want to catch Andrew, I don't make the job easy for them. They got to actually work to find me. Then when they actually find me, guess what? I pass inspection. You know why I pass inspection? Because it's simple. Lights, tires, brakes. Anyways, move along. Now, what else was I going to tell you about? Oh, I know y'all throwing a, a, a some type of lease a pop and bottle celebration. So, uh, I'm going to leave my cash out. For all y'all that's uh, just feeling so sorry for Andrew, I'm going to leave my cash up. And you can just dump all the money you want up in there. I know y'all uh, started some type of GoFundMe. I don't know how much money Josh raised, 
But um, I didn't get none of it. So if you, you actually want to, like, I'm feeling froggy, you know, just come on, put it in my cash. Up. I, I, I take the money now. I don't, don't ask me what I'm going to do with it now. Just put the money in the cash up. Bitcoin is dropping right now. So you know, we'll be at 54. We have 54000 right now. So you go and drop all that money in the cash up. And uh, I can ride the way back up. Okay? I'm just saying. Because, like I said, owning the truck ain't going to be for everybody. It's not going to be for everybody. And it don't have to be for everybody. I'm probably going to go home, by the way, uh, in the morning. I haven't decided. I got another business outside of... Um, well, it's dealing with trucking, but it's outside the truck that I'm uh, starting back by the house. So uh, I may go home to work on it for a minute. But other than that, oh, so you're probably wondering well, who's going to fix the uh, the truck. So if y'all didn't know, W&W got their own shop. Uh, Cody is the one that work on the trucks. So, I mean, he could do it. Um, it's other mechanics that can do it. But uh, as far as how I'm going to get the truck fixed, some of y'all was talking about towing the truck to freaking Dallas and Memphis. And look, man, owning the truck is not going to be fun. If you think putting, the, if you think towing the truck four or five hours for something so it's just not for you. And that's okay. It's okay. It does not have to be for you. It's just, y'all just don't get it. You don't have to buy a truck in trucking. There's a lot of people that's never in their entire life going on a truck, ever. No matter how hard they work for it. It could be 20 years from now, 800 payment, 800,000 payments later. No title. Okay? It's okay. It's just okay. You could pay a truck note and still make money in trucking. You don't have to own just to make a truck payment. And by the way, speaking of... Uh, Truck payment. Uh, Joshua, I'm going to help you with your math. You know, I got to say something to you now. You said you done went on there and told them folks that your Patreon, you said you did 7600 and you took on 5000 Hmm. Something just, just don't sound right. It just, it just sounds like it's just too close. So I had to, I pull out the calculator. 76, 76, oh, 100, my fault. 7600 times point eighty. That's six thousand eighty dollars right there, Joshua. That truck no eight hundred. You had fifty two hundred right there. That trailer about what two twenty? Let me give you two twenty. Now you had five thousand sixty dollars. Then you got that fifty dollar escrow. Then you got goddamn what else you got? You got a fuel bill because you're going from one side of the planet to the other. So that's about twelve hundred right there. We had thirty eight ten, Joshua. And guess what? That's not all of your deductions. But some guy will you at $5,000. So keep fooling the people. Keep it up. You're doing a good job. They actually believe in you. I don't know why truck drivers can't pull out a calculator and do just the most basic, I mean the most basic of math problems. I mean, they just don't get no more basic. I mean, God damn. There's no hope for these people. But anyways, enough of all that. Uh, all of my pictures just on the community. You don't even have to add us a track. You can just read my shit. We can't read your check, Joshua. I don't know. I just, when you going to send me that one? You said you did like, what, 11000 9000 gross? I'm still waiting on that settlement now, Joshua. I'm still waiting. Nah, nah, don't be trying to. Don't think too hard. I know what you're thinking. Well, if I show Andrew, he going to know it's more than, it took me more than seven days to do it. And no, don't, don't think like that, Joshua. All I want to do is show the people that, you're balling out of control with a lease truck at eight hundred dollars a week. That's all I want to do. Just, we 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 trying to celebrate over here too. Y'all celebrating the fact that Andrew truck then dripped a, a, a dot of oil or something. I'm trying to celebrate that you balling out of control with the lease truck. Come on, man, just send that thing on over, man. Stop giving me all these excuses and, and don't run me my cash out too.